News in the world of Valheim. Let's go. We have a ton of sneak peeks and information about the Ashlands today. Between the dev blog and the video that they put out, a little bit of things that have been shown on Twitter. Let's check it out. One peek we get here is this skeleton of a carrion. And it's interesting because they say Ashlands is a hostile place. Even for the creatures that live there, just be careful of whatever killed them in the first place. This makes me think that whatever this is still lives there. Because it didn't say lived is in past tense. And then they talk about the skulls of these creatures also being able to use for a fancy looking wreath, which is decorative and useful. Can you guess what for? I cannot guess what for. I mean, I could guess, but it's a total guess. I have no idea what this would be used for. What do you guys think? They have it set up looking at some kind of altar thing. I don't know if that's relevant. Maybe it infused some kind of magical property. The wreath definitely looks blue and Grimcore had made a little side comment about blue shizzle. I don't know if that's just him joking or if there's some kind of blue power that's going to be relevant magically. One of the things that they talk a lot about in their walk and talk is weapons and how there's a lot more weapons that are coming in the Ashlands that have come with biomes in the past. It'll have the same basic progression. You go in, you gather resources to make them. The special resources they've talked about in Ashlands are flametto and gems. And they give us a little shot here of what the gems look like. There are blood gems, storm gems, and nature gems, and these can be used to customize your weapons and give them different effects. That's really cool. Some of you may remember when they showed the concept art, I was like, is that like a jewel there? Does that, is that what's giving it the effect? So yay, I guessed right. I know a lot of people are really excited about the dual wielding axes that are coming. And since these are gonna be made using flametto, they will be able to have an effect put on them as well. Grimcore and Jonathan both talk about, especially Jonathan, about how um, he really likes the blood magic with the axes and that it's super strong and powerful. So all of you axe lovers out there should enjoy that. And fortunately, it's going to be the same axe skill level that we have now. There's not like a separate dual wielding axe or magical axe or anything like that. So if you want to use these, maybe start working on your axe skill now. They're talking a lot about the mage role in Ashlands now since that was introduced more in Mistlands and now it's getting upgraded and that they consider this more of a play style, not like a side grade. And so they're trying to support that play style as well. So like they're showing us the different types of armors for the mage, a ranged, and a tank. And they think that the mage should be supported as a full play style. Whereas in the past, some of the armors have been kind of side things, like the Fenris armor was introduced later as a cool thing that you can get. But Mage seems to be much more integrated into the progression of the game, if you choose that play, play style. They debated a lot about the different effects of, like, the ice magic and such in Ashlands when it's coming up against fire mobs. Initially, I was thinking... Fire mob, ice, that's going to be really powerful against them. But that's not necessarily the way it's going to go. The mobs in the Ashlands are also undead. So the effects of things may not be just the traditional, typical, what you would expect. Their fire shoot ice at them. A lot of people ask me about how Ashlands will be similar or different from Mistlands. And they talk about this a little bit now as well. They got a lot of feedback about it. And... In Ashlands, there's not going to be any mist or fog or smoke that's like completely impairing your visibility. There'll be some effects, of course. But based on a lot of the pushback they've gotten from players about, well, basically just a lot of people really don't like the visibility issues in Mistlands. Um, they're, cons they're considering possibly, maybe at some point in the future, introducing something that can help with that. We don't know what that is. We don't know if this is just theory. Ashlands is going to be similar to Mistlands in some ways. For example, it is a difficult biome. We're getting to the end game here. And so if you found Mistlands difficult, you should find Ashlands more difficult. They are working on balancing to make sure that it's not completely too much. And of course, we do have the modifiers in game now too. But although it's intended to be difficult, it's going to be difficult in a different way than Miss Lands was, he says mysteriously. <laughs>
A big part of that is an environment and it won't be as hard to traverse things in the Ashlands as far as having to climb up everything. You do have to look for falling into lava and fire and we can see a bit more of the environment now. There's these little meteors raining down. They don't seem to be affecting the devs in their video but we don't know if they're in god mode there. And Grimcore shared on Twitter a little peek of a guy in the Ashlands with this crazy boss looking armor, magical dual wielding axes, and look at all this smoke and craziness going on around him. This was showing off some of the environmental factors that are coming in Ashlands. It looks intense. It's almost like you can see the heat waves in the air. So as you look toward preparing for Ashlands, things you might want to prep for is increasing magic skills, particularly blood magic skills, looking at your axe level skill. And I have a big question mark about Flametal. You can get Flametal in the game currently, but is that going to count? Or is the Flametal you get after the update going to be different? Seems like they might do that so people don't just go stockpile a bunch of Flametal now. What do you guys think? Leave a like if you think this info was useful and consider subscribing for more Valheim. Happy gaming!